Hey guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Thanks for coming on and watching this episode. I'm going to paint another dog. I'm going to show you in a second what the dog is. It's pretty cool. Uh, we just got back from the store and we got this gallery canvas. It's on co it's a cotton gallery canvas. Very excited to paint on this. I'm going to sand it down. I'm going to do what? What am I going to put Gesso on? Gesso it. Gesso. I'm going to put some gesso on it. Just like I showed you in the previous, uh, but my previous episode, um, I'm going to show you step by step along the way. Uh, we're going to go on a great journey, and we're going to discover what it's like to paint this guy right here. Uh, a friend of mine at work. He own he he is the owner of this beautiful animal. What a beautiful dog, anybody? Yeah. He's beautiful. What do you think? What do you think of him? I think you're going to do a very good job, Daddy. Thanks, Bunny. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, I guess we just cue the intro, right? Cue the intro!
Okay, I'm gonna pause it here. I'm gonna um, work on the, an important feature. I'm gonna work on the eye, this eye over here, and this eye will will help me gauge an idea of proportionally where where everything else is, and give me some uh, confidence on um, <clears throat> where all the elements are and, and whatnot. And the eyes are important, obviously. The eyes and the nose and the mouth, all the features of the face are important in order to help capture the essence of the animal and, and what really, truly what the features look like. Um, if if you mess up the eyes and or the nose, is just everything just snowballs from there and it trickles down. So I'm going to work on that right now. I'm going to slow it down so that you get an idea of what it what it looks like okay so I know the eye here is roughly um, 10 at number 10 and just like the other one and um, the majority of the curve shape in here is at 15 so 15 I'm going down 15 and 10 and I'm going to go ahead and draw that eye. I'm going to capture it in that shape and um, see how this looks. I'm going to look at shapes. I'm going to look at uh, negative space in the block. So the negative space, um, let's see, when I talk about negative space, some people, some artists already know that. But when I talk about negative space, it's easy to understand two ways of drawing. Uh, one way of drawing is finding out the detail that's required that you're looking at inside. And another way is to identify negative space. So the negative space would be, uh, for example, uh, underneath here. Uh, around here, around the edges or whatnot. Um, I'm going to zoom in real tight here. Negative space. And then I'm looking at my drawing. I'm looking at my drawing. And the negative space, for example, would be outside around, around here. So I'm drawing, I'm also looking at negative space. I'm also drawing the negative space. So down here, I'm looking at that. I, I can see it, it's in an angle over here. I can see the eye has this much of an angle of this much space I need inside the box here. And then uh, from there, I get an idea, uh, just a rough idea. And I don't need to do too much detail. I just need a rough idea so that when I go ahead and do the detail in the painting, I know where the elements are and I can capture them that way, right there. So that's, the drawing is here, this eyelid is here, it's got an eyelid. And then let's see, this part, dark, is all dark here. This is dark, and then we got a circle here, half circle. Majority of the circles here, so I'm going to go about right about for the circle with his pupil right about there, like that. And his pupil would be around the same, same size there. I'm going to go with a darker pencil. I'm going to go with my H2, uh, 2B. I'm going to go ahead and start drawing it darker. As I'm confident that that is the shape I'm looking for. There, there. I'm going to draw the bottom of the eye here. And then go here. Like so, again, this is probably too much detail. Um, that I need more detail than I need, but it's a good. Uh, it's a good way to kind of look stuff where you just step back and see, yeah, that's kind of where I need them out. So I'm going to use my trusty uh, smudge tool here, um, and I'm going to go ahead and make it darker like that. See, that. see what it does? It just smudges everything and brings it out, brings the colors out that I need, or the, sorry, the, not the colors, but the 
tone reference that I need. Um, I know this guy is here, so there's some dark here. I know this guy here, and he's got the eyebrow. We're going to look for the eyebrow here. And out here like that. And like that. And I know his eyebrow is going to just stick out like that. Right there. Okay. So I pause that.
Okay, now at this point, uh, I've captured most of the um, prominent features that I need. I need. I needed the mouth, I needed the nose, I needed the eyes, the uh, expression in his face, uh, location of his eyes and the features. Uh, now I'm just going to do a real rough drawing to kind of get the outline. I don't need to go ahead and look at the grid completely. And I'm just going to really just um, roughly draw out um, the location of the rest, the rest of his features, really. Um, and then uh, maybe I'll I'll highlight in with, with pencil uh, all the darks, more than darks and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all that, and um, just so we get an idea of where everything is and. Yeah, I'm going to take it from there. I think he's looking good. He's nearly there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Finish this up. And I'll show you what it looks like in the end. Looking pretty good. Hey guys, uh, this is the final product. Now, I did work a little bit more on it over the last couple weeks. Uh, I used a kneaded eraser to highlight uh, some of the hairlines here. Uh, I've emphasized the ear here, the features of the ear. Uh, I cleaned up the eyes. I fixed it a little bit more. I think I think it's looking pretty good. Oh, you'll see I erased uh, some of the edge of the grid system that I used I just uh, cleaned it up um, because it was looking a little bit too busy um, I didn't have to uh, because I can paint over it again uh, and then I used my uh, trusty workable fixative and I sprayed it again like about two feet uh, I sprayed it in the garage because the smells are really bad so just wait overnight before you take it back inside the house just a word of advice there um, yeah, that, that, that drawing is ready. I'm ready to go on my next uh, video. So in my next video, I'm, I'm going to show you is the blocking stage. And that is the first initial layer of color. Uh, it's not detailed at all, like, uh, like more like um, the second stage over here with Kingsley. He's ready for the final stage. I just had to let him dry uh, a couple weeks before I went ahead and, and did any more work on him. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's all in oils. 
Uh, I'm going to explain everything in my next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what, I, what I'm doing so far, just hit the like button below. If you want to see some more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that big red, mud, red button below. Uh, the little icon, that little bell icon will give you email notifications every time I upload a new video. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on Instagram. On Facebook every now and then I'll upload uh, live feeds while I'm working on uh, this dog or I'm working on any other dogs or, or any other uh, landscape paintings that I'm, I'm uh, about to work on actually this year. And uh, comments, you can go ahead and comment on my video below. I will try and answer anything as soon as I can. Uh, again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.